Um, uh, we could, like, you know, oh, we might as well do some research while we're here. Quaternity. I just want to make sure I've got it spelled correctly, but otherwise it won't come up. Um, we might do St. Michael's as well. St. Michael's. And we'll do Pythag, because everyone loves a little bit of Pythagoras. Pythagoras. Okay. Because we love doing searches, don't we? Quart. Uh, quaternity. Generally means any group of four, but the term is used almost exclusively in alchemy and geometry. The square. So yes, we're working with a square. St. Michael's. Oh, sorry. You never know when it's one of those Michael... Okay, apparently St. Michael doesn't come up. Whatever. Pythagoras. Blah, 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 blah. We read this before because we saw the pretty image. Aww. So yeah, so we're adding a, a square. And if you remember, there was the, uh, that note that we wrote down. If we look at That's this. the blue apple cipher that Sydney found in one of the Saunier parchments. Okay, well, who cares what the rest of it actually said, but um, they mentioned blue apples. So if we look at that, what the two points we'd be looking for is when we say when they say blue apples, they kind of mean um, yeah, they mean <laughs> they mean. Um, the Meridian, which they mentioned, and they also mean Shadow de Serres, because Shadow de Serres is... Blue apples are the grapes. To the Meridian, blue apples. In other words, to the Meridian from the vineyard. Ding ding! Lang... Tango... Tell, blah 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 blah. So we can put in our square. Because now we... Not only have... Oh, I need to resize this. Uh, because we not only now have a square, we also have a angle. I'm for... sure that square is the right size, but I'm not sure what angle it's at in relation to the meridian. <laughs> Maybe Taurus can help. Well, yeah, Taurus says um, probably to the green to the to the green line. Uh, uh, you're not Taurus. Read, woman. In the sanctuary is the font, fountain of love of those who believe, reminding us of these words: "By this sign you will conquer." I understand this now. The four are the stuff of the alchemist's laboratory, and their cant reflects the light in harmony with their queen. Mm. And yet the angels hold tight the secret of the angle that is the key to the kingdom. My friend knows the secret, but wisely he hides the fruit among the chaff that the treasure not be lost to the infidels. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so they basically said along the Meridian line, so like, Yes, bing. that must be it. Oh, 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 we need another scene. There's another scene. Get up, Grace, get up. Come on, I also want a quick save. Wee. We don't want to miss this. You ain't seen nothing yet. No, 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 baby, we ain't seen nothing yet. Here we go. I'm simply not up for another boring night in our room. Mm. I realize this is not the Riviera, but no. surely something can be done. A little quiet would be good for you after today's excitement. And we can go over the... No, no, not oh. that. My brain hurts already. I say there, Signore Bucchelli. Signore Bucchelli. the bridge. Uh -huh. Un molto piacere. It would be a pleasure. He now what about a fourth? You there, miss... Bobber. Nakamura. Yes, it's Grace. Of course it is. Won't you join us a bridge, Grace? Oh, no. No, no, thank you. Uh, why don't you ask... What about Mr. Wilkes? Oh. Where is Mr. Wilkes? I was just wondering that myself, Signora. Hmm. I haven't seen him since he left the hotel this afternoon. When he went what digging. What a bother. How unsociable people are these days. No manners whatsoever. <sighs> I say, Mr. Barza, would you join us? I would be happy to oblige. Ooh. 
Alright, so they are all gonna go play bridge. I could not be bothered watching them all walk like demented muppets. Um, so we're gonna try and get Emilio's print again. It's rather fruitless effort if you know what's happening, but oh, we have to do it anyway for full points. Grace, you seen that nothing's happening? Nothing's happening, Grace. Not a single print. Ding ding. Now, isn't that odd? Mmm, I think it is odd. Well, let's see how the, the bridge game is going. Why, it appears to be going thrilling. Oh, I do like that you can kind of see what cards they have. It's a nice touch. I have got other things to do. Then why did you give me the option of playing? I don't want to interrupt their game. What? Why are none of them talking? That is my question. Can you hear them talk when they're nearby? No, this is a very quiet bridge game. No, oh, that is not how you play, Mr. Barza. That is not how you play, Mr. Barza. Oh, I'm sorry, ladies. I don't really play bridge. Oh, Signora Bucelli, you need to show your bridge partner how to play. <laughs> oh. All right, so now that we have done that, we need to do the next step, which we should probably look at the support rouge to be told what it is. Uh, rig to me, Gemini and Cancer. The mosaic tiles of the sacred place alternate black or white, and Jesus, like Asmodeus, observes their alignment. I can find 64 stones of the perfect cube which the Knights of the Beauty of the Black Wood had scattered when they fled from the White Fort while they were being pursued by the usurpers. Reassemble the scattered stones and, working with square and compass, put them into ranks. The knightly order of the perfect cube fits within and gives structure to Our Lady's protector, the Heavenly Quartet. So, yeah, pretty much the chessboard. So we, we could pretty much just grid this, but hey, let's do the research first that they want us to do. Asmodeus. Did I write Asmondius? Oops. Asmodeus. According to legend, Asmodeus was a demon whom Solomon tricked into guarding his temple. As such, Asmodeus is now considered the guardian of lost or hidden treasure. He is also invoked by magicians for supernatural protections of place and objects. And chessboard. Knights, pawns, queens, rooks. Yes. They're all mentioned in the Serpent Rouge. Duh. The 64 stones must be a chessboard. Duh. How did you not get that already? I got that as soon as they said it. Well, as soon as you read it, but yes. Hey, look. Duality. The... I'm actually not sure how to say that. Gnosis? Gnostic? I, I know how to say agnostic, but gnosic? I don't know. Belief of the separation of good and evil. Heaven and earth, carnate and incarnate. Machinimationism. Well, machinimationism. First exposed the concept of all material things were by definition evil, including on earth and every human being. The king of the material realm is Rex Mundi, associated with the Christian devil. In contrast, heaven, the incarnate realm, is sinless and holy. Man's soul is incarnate, but is trapped in the mortal world of sin. It is man's task to renounce the material world and his own flesh in order to gain heaven. From this belief sprang Catholicism another major gnosic heresy or at least according to the pope uh a similar concept of duality was later incorporated by the rosa uh the similar duality is a hexagram fashioned from two superimposed triangles which represents the dual nature of soul and flesh ding ding the cathar movement sprang to life in the south of france cathars were dual duelists they believed that there were two powers, those of light and those of darkness. Unlike the, Cath the Catholics, they believed the power of darkness to be just as strong as the power of light. For this, they were condemned as heretics and persecuted and eventually wiped out by the Roman popes. The Cathars called the power of, the, uh, uh, power of darkness Rex Mundi, or the king of the world. Rex Mundi was an absolute ruler over earth and all material things 
including our bodies. For this reason, the physical body was condemned by the Cathars and the pleasures of flesh were to be avoided. But within this corrupt material body, the power of light was inserted a what? Power of light had inserted a bit of its life. The soul. Uh, it was the Cathars' highest aim to strive for unity with the divine, to align oneself with the soul or the spiritual rather than the body and the material. The image of the two triangles overlapping, forming a hexagram shape, was a popular symbol for the dualist concept. One triangle was black and represented the power of darkness, and one was white and represented the power of light. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, so, basically, draw a grid, fill shape, 8 by 8 That's it! That's Ding. the chessboard. And that was the end Go of that Captain. chapter. And of course, it's still going to... Dun, 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 dun. I really don't know why it does it. Hey, hey, Gilly. Oh, hey. Have you seen Madeline? Of course. She's under my bed. Uh, oh. Ah, uh, uh, you're being smart, are you? Yep. Well, I just thought she might be with that fella here, because this is his room too, ain't it? Yep. yep. Yes. So, so badly lit. Since Madeline's not around. Oh. You want to have dinner with? Uh, no. no. Oh, come on. You're drunk. I'm celebrating the dude. Hey, I'm gonna be a rich man after what I've found today. You, you're drunk, though. You play your cards right. You might learn something. Hmm. All right. I'll change and meet you downstairs. Really? Good, I'll, uh... Hmm. She says. Oh! Quit. Jesus! Knock it off! Yeah, no rape here. Hey, that's a nice shirt you got, Grace. It's very, um, sandy from, uh... Oh, hello. Is this it? Just like I Sandy from it, Greece. Right? You were really drunk. Wow. You said you explained it to me. I just don't understand all these technical things. <laughs> you got me so damn drunk, man. Oh, come on. He was already dying. Oh. No, no. Don't do this, Wilkes. Do it for the Australian people. No! No, you were... Uh... You said this was taken by satellite? Damn right. Seisma, uh, um, uh, sisma, um... Seismologists. Them. Right. You don't they sound smart enough to know this. They take satellite pictures all the time. Shows them underground forks and whatnot. No one ever mm. looked to take one here, right? So, so when I see these one of these maps, I says to myself, John, I says, that. The so, and that was. Right, too. Huh? Was this? Oh, I missed oh, one of the points. So the radar bounces off the Earth, and the echo is recorded. What? Mhm. Mm yes. I mean, I guess. <laughs> right, right, right. So I paid to get one of these pictures done, and baby, I hit the jackpot. Yes. Yes, you did with your. What's this dark area here? A big old hollow. What do you think? Okay, right? What's all connected? A huge mother. So you think that this is where the treasure is? Well, something's ah, down there. The treasure's right here. No! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going now. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Ew. Hi. Um, I just got back and I was trying to do, uh, what are you doing with Wilkes, Grace? Uh, of your business. No, you should. And, uh, don't wait up. What? I'm sure Mosley's back too, and we do have that catching up to do. What? Oh, hussy. Something went wrong with your animation there. I'm standing in an impossible way. Oh, well, not quite impossible, but hey, look, day three, 2 a.m., time to save.